How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can get a Venezuela IP address from anywhere. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in either of these VPNs, be it Express or Surfshark, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs with regards to their privacy policies, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Okay, so just a brief explanation how a VPN can get you a Venezuela IP address. As you can tell here, I have my VPN, ExpressVPN, connected to the New York server, and that's why uh, what is my IP address or what is my IP-address.com thinks that I am in the United States, specifically in New York. But I am in fact not there, it's just that I'm using the VPN server. And that happens when a VPN reroutes your data through a private server within the network Network. It's a process called VPN tunneling, and it gives your traffic a new IP address. The IP address websites see is based on the VPN server location and not your own, since your own is protected by the VPN provider and masked by the other IP address. If you connect to a Venezuelan server, websites will be tricked into thinking you're really in Venezuela, and because it strongly encrypts your information, using a secure VPN is the best way to access your bank account, pay bills, or send money to friends and family family. A Venezuelan IP address from a secure VPN will let you bypass government regulations on banking. You'll be able to access your accounts and pay bills from anywhere in the world. Top VPNs use advanced security technology to ensure that your activity will be hidden as well as your location. Using Venezuelan websites anonymously helps protect people you know in the country from government harassment. Free IP switchers like proxies can also mask your location, but you should be careful because they are not a good choice for Venezuela because of their weak encryption. Proxies often use peer-to-peer -peer networks that are easy to detect and can expose your data in true location to government spies. In addition to military-grade encryption, premium VPNs offer unlimited location switching. It's an important feature for getting around Venezuela's ever-tightening censorship restrictions. Use your Venezuela IP address to access Venezuelan services, then switch to another server for all your other browsing. If you have family and friends in Venezuela, you should all be using VPNs too. Every time they go online, top VPNs will give them safe access to the outside world, including top entertainment sites like US Netflix, Hulu, and the BBC iPlayer. Okay, so what we're looking for in a VPN is obviously, first of all, if you're looking for an IP address, you're looking for servers in Venezuela. And both ExpressVPN and Surfshark have that. So if we go to VPN locations and look up Venezuela, obviously you have uh, the Venezuela server um, uh, located here. So I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and click it actually. And now that I've clicked it, it's selected right here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And we have the same with Surfshark. Obviously, we have a Venezuelan server. Um, so it really is as simple as that when it comes to getting a Venezuelan IP address. Now that I'm connected to ExpressVPN's Venezuelan server, all I have to do is just refresh. So we're also looking for a solid no logging policy uh, that is also transparent with uh, evidence of these audited no logs policies uh, in both of these VPNs uh, do have that. Uh, obviously, you can tell now that it thinks, this website thinks, and all other websites in your ISP and everyone else will think that you are connected to, or I am connected to, rather, uh, Venezuela. We're also looking at strong encryption. Both these VPNs do have strong encryption, uh, user-friendly applications, and very high speeds. ExpressVPN has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries and will allow you to secure up to five devices per subscription. And Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 65 countries and will virtually allow I would secure an unlimited number of devices with just one subscription, making it a very convenient budget option. Uh, though ExpressVPN will definitely be the best choice if you're looking for the ultimate no logging policy, the strongest encryption, and the most advanced server infrastructure in the business, especially if you're looking also for a wide variety of locations. 94 countries is a lot of countries and you will have access to many servers and many streaming services as a result. It's also incredibly easy to use and very handy, especially if you are in a censorship heavy country. Now, uh, with regards to security features, you've got the kill switch, 
which will stop your internet traffic if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, preventing any data leaks to your ISP. Uh, and split tiling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So this can be very useful for a lot of people. And protocols, you have a handful of protocols in both VPNs. With regards to advanced, you have nothing to mess with here, really, unless you want to opt out of the sharing crash reports. So that's it. And with regards to obfuscation, if you're in a censorship heavy country, you don't need to do anything with ExpressVPN. It has its proprietary obfuscation on by default, and there's nothing you need to do in order to make it work. Now with Surfshark, you still get, of course, the uh, split tunneling, which is called whitelister here, kill switch and ad blocker, as well as a handful of protocols, including the shadow socks protocol, which will help you reach banned websites if you're in a censorship heavy country, though it will only secure your browser traffic, so keep that in mind. And no borders mode will help you bypass the Great Firewall of China if you're in China or any other censorship heavy country. So if you're in a censorship heavy country with a very strong uh, a censorship firewall such as the Great Firewall of China, you might have to, not always, but you might have to do some manual configuration, which is why I would recommend ExpressVPN for most people, since it requires literally just no configuration. It's as much of a plug and play application as it gets, and it will work no matter your location and no matter the censorship firewall. Now, that'll be it for this video. Again, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews. And keep in mind that both these VPNs are covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee, no matter which plan you get. Uh, even if it's just the 30-day plan, you'll be able to get yourself the refund. And you can get that refund by going to either ExpressVPNs or Surfshark's website. It's the same thing. Just hover over the bottom right, and you'll have access to the live chat support. It really is as simple as that. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.